Oh my god. Just look at the size of that shiner. Okay, okay. We're looking for big bass. Did you chase it? Don't chase it. A little bit? I need a temp. Oh that's it. God, that's, that's it. The that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. You ready to see this thing, dude? Get Chad's reaction because he's gonna. Holy cow, dude! Oh my god! What the day on? I'm trying to take some B roll, huh? One more try. Are you. Really? What is going on, girls? Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we're getting Thump 3.0. It's been a long time awaiting. Many, many videos. I've been talking about this. We got our tub here, which we do need to find a top for, but I think I have a solution to that. I have a net. I have a net right here. It's a big old net that goes over the pond, which we're going to have to put on the pond when we get home. But at least we have that for now. We can always throw that over this and fill this up. we got an aerator over here. That is also the aerator from the pond. It's the only one I had, and this is so last minute it's insane. So to pretty much sum it up, we are filling up on gas. We need a full tank to then drive two and a half hours up to North Florida. Or pick... Up to North Florida, we'll be picking up our bass, Thump 3.0. I am beyond excited for this. I hope you are as well, because it's going to be a banger. You know where we're going? Shiner Sam's. Oh, a nice classic coming on here. We are 47 minutes away! Before I get copyright, let me lower that, but look at this marsh right here. I shouldn't be vlogging and driving, but that is just too beautiful not to show. All right, we're almost there. All right, all copyright aside, we are pulling up. It's right there. I see the sign. Live bait shiners unlimited. So if any of you guys need shiners out here, and I believe we're like North Florida, some area, I will have the location to the store down below. Fresh baits, fresh shiners. Now let me tell you, if you guys missed the last time we were here, it was crazy. Oh, long old ride. We made it. Shiner Sam's place. Picking up a monster, monster largemouth. And guess what? I don't know exactly how it's gonna get done, but your boy bought the fishing rod. Keep in mind It's got a barbless hook, so I bent the barb in hooks have barbs so that when you hook the fish The barb will actually keep it in the fish's mouth with the barb actually pinched down It's easy to just pop the hook right out because this is a fish we're putting into my pond So uh, I don't know if we're catching it with a rod and reel. I believe we are. Uh, yeah, we definitely are We're gonna get the chest diaper on here in just a second make it happen. Hey, you're so big already Hey, buddy you used to What's be so on, little. How's it going, boss? Oh my gosh, man. You changed the color, too. Yeah. Over here, we are at the Wild Shiner Tub. I mean, these are... Look how frisky they are. If you remember last time, the difference between throwing the domestic shiners in the pond and then watching the bass eat them right off the bat because they were just clueless to what was going on. Then we threw wild shiners in the pond and they were going nuts because they know what a predator is. They're like, ah! And then, boom! I got the Shiner Sam hat on right now. I never wear hats, but you know, I'm rocking it. Oh, and I changed shirts because I thought it was going to be cold over here in North Florida. You know, it's kind of cold by me. I'm south and it's really not. It's, it's not at all. So I got the shoes on. I got shoes on. Damn, man, I saw you come down without no shoes. I don't know. <laughs> no shoe at Shiner's any minute. No accepted. <laughs> I'm good now. I got them on. I got them on. We are here at Shiner Sam's place. And as you know, by the title and thumbnail, today's goal is to, that's actually the pond is right there that we're going to catch it out of catch our new Thump 3.0. Thank you to Shiner Sam, first of all. This video was not possible without him. I called him, I was like, hey, Sam, you got the biggest bass in town. Is there any chance that you can hook me up with a Thump 3.0? I know there's a lot of them, and if not, totally cool. And he was like, come down tomorrow, we'll make it happen. So I'm here, and it's time. That pond right there is absolutely loaded with monster bass, and you'll see that in just a second. And we're probably gonna hook one of these Shiners on, throw it out, and just hopefully a big one eats. Don't chase it. A little bit? I need a temp. Oh, that's it. God, that's, that's it. The that's the one. There we go. Back at it again, fellas. If you remember this, it was epic. By the way, we got this fully set up, ready to go. We got the air pump going. Just, you know. I got a big gun, baby. Big gun. Bazooka big gun. full of uh, minnows. My gun got nothing but minnows. 
<laughs> Look at all of them right here. Watch how many you're about to zoom out of this pipe right here. Three, two, one. Eww. The water just goes from green and blue to straight black. Look at all the minnows. So many. Oh, I got none that time. That water is cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh. <laughs> Is a turtle? It's a turtle. It got stuck. Should I take it home? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so inside the truck of all the shiners, there's a turtle. We're just gonna name it Sam because it came from here. I'm just gonna put him in here for now. All right, bud, you'll be with the bat. That's the third one. One died. Two made it. That's crazy. One didn't make it, but two did. And spotted channel cats right here. Seconds. Look at that oh, thing. Oh, that is cool. It's a pretty fish. All it these things. Like sharks. Yeah. All those fish okay, get Alan. pushed out with the shiners. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't stick this my is, hand out and a catfish came flying out and stabbed me in the hand. So, three catfish, channel cats, and a turtle came along with this delivery today. Kind of crazy. Yeah. I got another one. There's four. There's another one in here. He's right here. Yeah, the heck is that thing? A warm out. <laughs> yeah, it's a different species too. Just came up to the top. All sorts of different fish species coming in with those shiners. We'll give two of them a try. I don't know if they're going to make it just because of transportation, but it's worth a try. Right? They got a lot of air. Oh, the turtle was up. There you go, guys. Hopefully you uh you don't you don't die. Now Paul, every time when you have a new batch of baits coming in, it's not 100% that they're gonna be healthy. There are some the one that's sick or the one that's dying. That's what I use to feed my bass with. Now the bass don't care as long as they can eat. Okay? Yep. This is what I use. So nothing goes to waste. Nothing goes to waste. That's why I have a lot of ducks back there too. The Muscovy duck. Yeah. The ducks will love to eat this 24 hours like this here. We scoop them out. Did a little bit hurt. You don't want to give your customer this, okay? Just make sure you go thinning it out. Make sure that, like this here, get them out. Even though you put them on a truck, they'll die on a the truck. They'll die on a the truck. Okay? You go through this. And everything goes in here, and then we yeah, bring so this good. out to yeah, the pond. Look closely. Do you see them all? Can you see? You could see them. Is that a leaf? Oh, that was a... Uh, Wow. Leaf's gone. Incredible. <laughs> oh, the oh, leaf just got spit out. That's oh nice. my gosh. That's nice. That is sick. Ooh. Oh my gosh, dude. Those fish are massive. Oh my goodness. Reef, what do you think, bud? You got ready, honey? Yeah. Oh, they are so fired up right now. They weren't that fired up last time. I, have, I haven't fed them this way. I've been broke. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> it's still going. Look at, look at. Oh. <laughs> here we go. Bang. Destroyed. One big one right here. I'm watching, man. You got it. You got it. Oh my Ooh. gosh. That shot was dope. Oh my gosh. Just destroying. Is it wild? A wild channel and then gonna be all one time, okay guys? Alright. They all come back, okay. They're all right there. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, look at them run, look at them run. Oh, oh my gosh, that fish was so big. <laughs> look at the size yeah. of those shiners right there. Pick one of them up, Sam. Yeah. Look at the size of that shiner. Okay, okay, We're okay. looking for big bass, just to put it that way. In this pond, there's monsters. I've got my rod. Tiny. Jordan's got his rod. Tiny Brandon. Baby. I always call you Brandon or Jordan. It's one of the two. It's one of the two. Jiggin, Brandon, or Jordan. Look at the koi. You got a koi fish down there. It's time. All right. We're going right to it, huh? We're just going to hook it on. I don't care how many fish we bring it up, but we're going to pick the biggest one, okay? Okay. 
Alright. Alright. Yeah. We're good to go. Yeah, right. We're good to just grab one? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Huh? Look at that fish. Nose, nose, nose. All day. Oh my gosh, bro. Did you see them come up on the bait? <laughs> oh, dude, this is so intense. This is not going to take long, fellas. I'm so nervous, bro. Why am I nervous? Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Dude, they're smart, huh? Oh, that's a baby. You see how tiny that fish was to eat this thing? Oh my god, that, that was the one. one! That was the one! I'm gonna get eight! Dude, that's the one we want right there. That is the one we wanted. I'm going small. I'm switching it. Yeah. I cannot even believe that. It got eaten, but by smaller fish. Try, try small over there. Something like that, right there. <gasps> yeah, not too big, not too small. Oh. Let's give it away. Good are catching one, right? Oh! Dude, dude, dude. Look, you can go with the small one. You're gonna catch one. You're gonna catch one. I just look at look at look at look at look at him weaving it. Oh, it's a dink of a bass, bro. The smallest one I could have caught. We got, <laughs> we got a baby. We got a real small one. We don't we don't want this guy. But uh, look at no barb, like nothing. That's the best part. Look at the gut on that tiny of a fish. That's like three pounds. And look how so smile. <laughs> <laughs> look That's crazy. That. All right. Very low key, goodbye. Oh, come on. Does it chase it? I chase it. A little bit? I need a temp. Oh that's, it. God, that's, that's it. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Go to the side. 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 Go to the that's the same that's exact fish. Tiny. You got it. Dude, that's, look at the tail. That's stupid. Stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. Oh my gosh, man. Look at the gut on the oh, small bait. Do not cry, okay? <laughs> I might cry. Look how thick that tail is. My hand can't even fully wrap around it. I, I'm thinking this is what? How big? I'd say 11, 11 and a half, 12 pound bass. Oh that's my incredible. Goodness. Let's oh not even wait any longer. Let's oh, you got it. There you go. No time to waste. We're going right into the bucket. Oh my goodness gracious, man. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. That was a perfect, quick transition. At least the least, least stressful it possibly could have ever went. I need to get right on the road. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Sam. That was worth every two hour and a half drive in the world. That's incredible. Thank you so much. Guys, girls, we have a 12 pound bass in the back of my truck right now. I'm shaking, I'm shaking like a leaf. That's incredible to me. That bass is so big. Talk about thump one and two. They didn't even touch near this. They were like, you know, nine pounds. This is 12 pounds. I mean, I wanna weigh it. I don't have a weigher. It's very stressful to weigh a bass as well. We don't wanna do that. This is just, look at the little turtle. Incredible. I mean, what can I say other than let's get the GoPro in there and get a look of him underwater. That fish is so big. We just caught a monster bass. I'm still shaking to this moment, guys. The good thing is, this bin is massive. Like, it's a big, it is a big, big bin, which is gonna allow him to be able to swim around. He's like that big compared to the bin. So he's been swimming around in circles, lots of oxygen, and, um, huh? Oh! <laughs> Brandon just definitely beat me on that one. That bass could eat that thing. It's great, thank you, man. You're welcome. Holy You're welcome. moly, like incredible. Thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed that moment, if you guys enjoyed that moment right there, make sure to drop a like. I want to see 30,000 plus likes on this video. I know, I know that's worth it. The the happiness. Oh man, that's, I've had, I've had big bass and that's just, that's incredible. That's just the front yard. Yeah, right? This is just right here. <laughs> yeah, the ones back there are three pounds, four pounds bigger than that. Dude, and they're smart too. They knew something was up. Yeah, they know. Make sure you subscribe, man. If you're not subscribed, what are they doing? You know, they're really missing out. They, they're missing honestly. out. I mean, they got to they come up with a name. Not too many people just get a 12 pounder in the back of their truck. You know? In two minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's no big deal. It's crazy. I'm gonna say my goodbye and thank yous to everyone here. Go check out Shiner Sam's channel. It's down below. He said that you guys were so great. Uh, you all showed support to his channel and he would love to help me out. And uh, I thank you as well for allowing me to have this opportunity.
A little bit of better bait. Help with the stress of the transportation back to my house. Woo, you got towed. That is a monster, man. All right. Let's get it. Wow, man. What? Epic. Epic video, bro. That was crazy. I just want to look back. I want to watch the footage of me catching that thing right now. I haven't even seen it. My adrenaline was going so fast, I didn't even watch it really, honestly. A 12 pound bass he just gave me. What in the heck is going on? I got a monster bass in the back of the truck, so I got to drive real slow all the way home. And um, I will see you in about three seconds when I get there. Well, uh, I'm driving and my fishing rod just went flying. Thankfully, there's no one behind me. That is a bummer, man. That, that combo ain't cheap. That's a custom combo right there. It's too dangerous for me to stop on the highway, so I didn't even bother. I just kept on going. But hey, at least the last fish I caught on it was a 13-pound bass. That's pretty cool to say. I, mean, I lost my combo on the highway, but the last fish I caught on it was a... Uh, it was a memorable one. I am talking to myself at this point. Yeah, if you find a rod on the side of the road, I would say around Port St. Lucie area, Florida, that was mine. Enjoy it. All right, we are home. Oh, hoo -hoo, that bass is looking thick. And we got a turtle. Look at the turtle. Hey, bud. There he goes. And a couple catfish. They all lived. <laughs> they all lived, literally. We are here at the farm. There's the pond that he's about to go into. Before that, though, y'all love to watch the animals eat, so let's feed the animals. <laughs> There goes Kevin and Gary and all the other ducks. See how much closer they are? They're getting the hang of it. They're getting the hang of it. Oh, look, they're eating. Yeah! Oh, hello, piggies. There you go, buddies. Hello, all of you as well. There you go. Here you go, Turk. <laughs> like, shove your face in that thing. Oh, is it good? Bruce just took a big pummel. I wish I would have recorded that. He literally jumped up there and fell and landed on his back. This is why you broke your leg, my guy. It's all healed up now, but you guys are like absolutely nuts for food. Hey, uh, you're blocking it. Gosh, that's so far every time. There we go. Roll bucket. Got a bucket of cold water. We're just gonna slowly acclimate this fish from this temperature, which is definitely warmer than my pond. So the temperature of this water here turns to the temperature of my pond. That's what acclimating is. So you're pretty much gonna do that probably three or four more times until there's about a quarter of what water was in there prior. That should make it about the same temperature. Give it a little bit to sit there. And then we put our monster bass, well that was cool, into the pond. All right, here we go. The moment of truth, as you can see, it's, it's full. All right, 173. 173 on the scale. We don't know if that scale is totally accurate, but we wanna get around at least an estimated size for this fish. We can't hook it on one of the gill scales because it's way too big of a fish. And we don't have a, uh, what is it called? A sling. A sling, which is a different way to weigh a fish when they're too big. Chad, you haven't seen this thing yet. I haven't. Watch this. Dump 3.0 about to go in. Oh my gosh, dude. He is pissed off. You ready to see this thing, dude? Get Chad's reaction, because he's gonna... Holy <laughs> cow, dude! Oh my god! That is a toad. Toad. Massive bass going in my pond. All right, get on the scale quick. Let's get on the scale. We don't want to hold it like that for too long, so... Ten yeah, pounds. Dude, it's 10.3 pounds on the, that scale, which is... It's probably like 11. Yeah. 11 pound fish. Thump 3.0. What do you think, Chad, dude? That thing is huge. Look at the belly. I'm, I'm calling bigger than 11 pounds of caught bass like that. That scales off. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the size of that fish. He is a toad. I mean, that is incredible. My. You understand my hand is not even as big as the fish, like my full palm. <laughs> the 
That is nuts. I cannot wait to hop in this pond and swim with all these fish. You guys want to see that video? The good thing is about this fish too, a 13 pound bass. I'm going to go with 12 pounds. Just that scale is most definitely not totally correct. It's a human scale, not a fish. A 12 pound fish typically has a lot bigger of a mouth, but I guess just the way he raised them, the way he fed them, their mouths are all small. So the good thing is, is he's not like a 12 pound pass with the mouth that big. He's got a smaller mouth and bigger gut. Fish like the Oscar, the Jaguar cichlid and stuff like that will not be bothered. First of all, those are pretty big compared to the bass. Let me get a comparison shot right here. Holy cow. Isn't when you insane? see him in there, you really yeah. see it. I think, I think in person it's a lot bigger. Wow. Dude. Not to mention, I had, a, I had like a nine pound bass with a bluegill in my pond. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So a lot of the times, especially since I introduced this fish afterwards of all these fish, he won't mess with any of these fish. Now before I just cut to tomorrow morning, I want to put not only a turtle that we got, this was in with the shiners and it came flying out with the shiners. And all his algae turned blue. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? You got the little turtle. Oh, he just got me so good, dude. Catfish. What, the catfish yeah. bit you? No, it spined me. Ah, because they have barbs on their spines. Nice little channel cats. Got three of them. Let's release these three catfish. Into the soon to be a lot clearer pond. It's just kind of green right now. Two. Three. And our turtle. That had a second chance at life because he was uh, in a truck full of shiners. Go free, bud. Oh my gosh, dude. It is a tank. It's an absolute tank swimming through the pond. Like, are you kidding? Look at the belly. Look at the belly on that fish. Bet you ain't ever seen anything like that before. Hit that subscribe button. But for real though, I'll see you in just three seconds. One, two, three. Boom. Pig is knocked out in the house. Moo! He's got a little bird friend that hangs out with him like every single day now. Just a little tiny like bird that walks around with him. And there's baby over there eating Bob and Burger. They're doing great. Thank you all so much for getting to this point of the video. This was by far one of my favorite, if not my favorite video I've ever made on YouTube. Which is a lot to say because I've made over like 500 videos. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure once again, drop a like, subscribe to the channel because Hector! Yes, sir. He's building a house for us right now for the filter. So that'll be one of my upcoming videos, probably next video. Let's see where Thump is. Where's Thump? Thump! I have a Thump again. It's so weird to be able to say that. Like, that's some throwback stuff right there. Like, Thump, where are you at? Oh my goodness, there he is. Holy moly. I'm gonna get this net off the pond. I can't even see you. I'm dropping the GoPro in. Dump is doing good. Uh, I'm gonna get this net done with little hooks and stuff like I mentioned in last video. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you wanna further support the channel, check out the merch, paulcafarobrand.com. Got a bunch of stuff on the site and only more to come. So uh, yeah, copy your merch, cop copy your merch. And I'll see you in the next one. Dump 3.0, he's here. Peace out. I'm telling you, 2021 is just bringing bangers. Bangers only, baby. I don't even want to upload unless it's a <laughs>